Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Down here at the bottom of the hill. It's amazing, it doesn't look like anything at all on the video. But you can ask anybody that's walked up it, it's a hill. It's very steep. It's like looking down over this way, it doesn't look like much at all. But that right down there drops down probably 30 feet. Kind of into the jungle. There's an old creek down there, a dry creek bed. But it hasn't had a drop of water in it yet this year. We haven't had any real rains yet. A couple of little short downpours, but nothing of any substance at all. Driveway's holding up pretty good. Guys did a nice job on that. Filling in the center was a good idea. Stop people from having accidents anyway. And the uh, cement tracks on the sides, they're holding up well. There's really no form. There's a form bars in it up to about the first coconut tree, but after that we ran out. And it had a couple pretty good sized trucks on it so far. Bigger than I ever wanted to come up here. Uh, most of my cuttings that I planted that first week when we got the driveway in, they're still holding their own. Looking real nice. Not very yellow though. If they don't have enough sun, they kind of revert back to green. It's kind of shady here, so. A little bit of traffic on the highway today. Not much. It's blurry or not, I'm not sure. Haven't quite figured this camera out here yet. It's got an automatic focus on it. and Kind of goes in and out of focus. If it does, sorry for that. Still battling my foot. Getting a little better. Swelling's down most of it. This right here is a crucial spot. This is about over three fourths of the way up the first hill, and this is where I used to crash all the time on my bike when it was a one single cement path and a dirt path. Just could never make it up over this little lip. We've had a couple problems with trucks getting right to here and then having to back down. Our friend John, he hit the sidewall the one day on his bike. Crashed right here exactly. Moving slow here, guys. All right. But it is really dry here. We've had a few little rains. The garden's holding its own, too. It's not doing too bad. You can just tell by the texture of the leaves and the plants. They're just, they're dry. Uh, even here in the shade now, the, the ground's dry. But we're just not getting a rainy season this year. We could still get it in November and December, who knows, but it's already October 18th, I guess. So, actually 19th, I guess, here. Pretty peaceful up here. If we were just a little farther away from the highway, it'd be perfect. See, so not to hear the truck cars and trucks going by. Most of the motorcycles are noisy.
but other than that it's very nice the beauty of this place here like a lot of a lot of people think that the hills you see this part right here this is another part here it's 24 degrees steep the main hill is 23 degrees a lot of people think it's a big hassle being on a hill like this but uh, it was when we built it of course we had to carry every every little bit of materials up here all the blocks three full dump trucks full of gravel and sand you know stuff like that tons of cement everything had to be carried up by hand because back then there was just a dirt path coming up here a single dirt path but the beauty of living up on a hill here especially in a country like the Philippines is since we have mostly rock and clay here 90 percent of the the water from the rain just rolls off the hill. There's a pretty flower for you. Kind of a pale yellow hibiscus. Very nice. We had one flower over here. I think, I think it was on the it was on this tree right here. We had one one hibiscus that was half yellow and half pink. That was very cool. We never had another one since then. But being in a, not even so much a lower area, but even on the flat ground here, the water sits so bad that when it does rain, most people's yards have either puddles in them or get super swampy and, and are all muddy and stuff. And most of the roads get real muddy. But even, uh, what was it, last year we had a whole year of rainy season. And the only place our path got the slightest bit muddy was in the yard and the grass. The rest of it was no problem at all. Going up or down the hill, not a bit of problem. So that was very nice. But uh, the disadvantages of being in a place like this is what we do have is clay and rocks. So it makes things like a garden quite a challenge. The soil's real infertile, hard. Uh, when it is, you do have a few weeks of rain, it does loosen up a little bit. So it's not terrible. But as soon as the sun comes back out, it bakes it right into you know, like a clay pot. So it can be frustrating. But we, we do pretty good. We're, we're having a real good garden going right now. We've got a lot of okra. Here's a funny tree here. Look at all the little figs on there. Isn't that weird? They actually turn bright orange after a while. Marfie's going to yell at me for walking around. I'm supposed to be off my feet. They're down here in the shade house. Going, guys. Um, having a prayer here. Oh, a little prayer meeting, huh? Going to the by the people over there, but it's who three is? Already. It's like three after four. three o'clock, I think. Oh. How's Joe today? I'm good, maybe tired. Tired. I'm, going going to I'm good, maybe tired, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh, mosquitoes are like crazy out here. As soon as you stop, you got just flock. Look at it, just flocks of mosquitoes around you. Nasty little ones. Oh. That's yeah, not great. Mm -hmm. They got to come over and look at my foot, I guess. Yeah, putting come on guy on it. Come on guy, and Marfi's putting her magic on it.
best magic. Now this guy's got a leaf. Hey, Tol. Hi. <laughs> Some pretty purple flowers, they're kind of like a weed bush. I always thought they were pretty nice. Can I found that in the out in the brush somewhere? Ah, that's all I got. Just kind of roaming around, wasting some time. Thought maybe I'd go down by the highway and see if anybody was around, but no sign of anybody. Alright, please click like and subscribe. You can contact me anytime at Blind Owl Outdoors at gmail.com thank you very much and have a great day